I'm Evan Stone, and you're watching Concrete Music TV. Watch it. Very successful male talent, Mr. Evan Stone. What's going on? Well, I'm having a good time at Exotic. I love here in New Jersey. Second time here. It's fucking great. People are great. Atmosphere is great. Chicks are hot. Yes, sir. Hopefully get laid like everybody else. You've been in the business for over 10 years now. What makes you so successful? What makes me so successful? I've been killing off the guys that are trying to be as successful as I am. I mean, like poison their food with saltpeter and stuff like that. I'm just kidding. The red, never take myself too seriously. When you take yourself too seriously, you start believing your own press. Oh yeah, I'm a fucking stud, blah, blah, blah. It's not about us. It's not about the guys. Understand if you're gonna be in porn, it's not about the guys. We are support for the girls. You start thinking it's all about you. Oh, I'm a fucking male porn star, blah, blah, blah. You're fucking, you're killing yourself. You're totally so basically killing yourself. you need that diva attitude at the door. Exactly. We, we have a joke and we went on set, we got new guys coming in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking bang that chick. I'm gonna knock her shit out. Every fucking time. And the worst thing ever, it's like it's a, it's a famous porn girl and the guy walks up to her and says, oh, I've watched all your movies, I'm your biggest fan. Fail, the guy's failed every time. And the thing is, it's, you have to realize what you're doing is not, it's, this, this is how it worked for me. A director told me, right? He says, listen dude, if you can't do it, I'll just hire somebody else. Think about that. You know, if you can't, it's, you can think of it two ways. One, there's pressure on you. If you can't do it, they're gonna hire somebody else. The other is like, if you can't do it, nobody gives a fuck. They'll just hire somebody else. And that's how I took it, right? So it took all the pressure off me. And I've had not had a problem in 11 years, 12 years, however long I'm doing this. And you crossed over into mainstream as well. I seen you on Cinemax. What was that experience like? Crossing over to mainstream was a, it's, it's a different experience because on mainstream, on these large productions and stuff, you have a lot of people on the set that really don't do anything, just relay orders like parrots. And it kind of drives me crazy because on a porno set, we all help each other out helping lighting, helping directing, well, not directing, helping lighting, helping grips, helping catering. Everybody helps out. We load up the gear, move to another set, everyone grabs gear and moves out. You do that on a mainstream set, you got five people yelling at you. Don't check, check, blah, 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 union stuff. And then when I say to those guys, I go, you guys are number one. You guys are number one. So it's not as much fun working on a mainstream set. Obviously, you got artists, but a lot of people there just are self-absorbed in the fact that they have a title rather than the fact that we're all here doing one project. Do awards matter to you? Not anymore. Do awards matter to me? Not anymore. With the first one, uh, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just so happy to be at the award show, and I won. And I was like, wow, it'd be kind of cool to win the next year. The second year I won, I was like, oh, that's cool. I've already won. I don't care. I want my friends to win, right? So I'm like, and I kept winning the fucking awards. And I think the deal is on that when you stop caring about winning an awards, you win every single one of them. Because I, I just stopped caring, and I've won every single award. So there, there you have it. Do you have any pet peeves when you're on set with a girl? Like, you ever had a shoot where you just walked off? <laughs> yes! As a matter of fact, I do have a pet peeves with some girls uh, that I've walked off before. I, uh, I don't work with racists. This girl was upstairs and uh, we had a, a black uh, production manager and she was like, blah, 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 you go down and help that blah, that end. But I was like, what did you say? Blah, 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 blah. I said, are you kidding? And she says no. And I said, went down to the director and said, look, you know, I, this person's ugly inside. I don't want to fuck her. You got to get somebody else. He's like, what happened? I told him what happened. He went upstairs. She goes, did you say that? She goes, yeah, I fucking said that. He goes, you're fired. He fired her. But they couldn't get a good girl at that. The production quick enough, so they hired another girl. So yeah, I have said no, and I have walked off one of the productions. One other production I did walk off of, um, uh, one of the directors was working for this, this company, and uh, he wasn't getting the money. He didn't want the money he was supposed to get paid from this company. They fucked him over. So rather than like sucking it up and eating it, he was like, he just didn't give a fuck about the production. And so like the camera guy didn't want to direct the movie. He's not getting paid for that. And so we're all sitting around waiting for directors and stuff to do with the directors in, the, in his uh, motorhome just banging some chick. And I was like, yeah, that's it. I'm walking. Then the executive producer comes over and goes, hey, what's going on? I said, that's all what's going on. It's a blah, 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 you know, whatever reason. The director's not into it. You're not paying me to direct the movie. Otherwise, I'd be directing it. And so I'm leaving. And he's like, well, if you leave, uh, you'll never work for me again. I was like, sorry, man. You got to have your heart in it. No one's doing anything. I'm not going to be here for 20 hours. No one's doing shit. And so the director says, all right, no problem. But that, I had to end up going back and working for that company. So those two reasons that I've walked off the set before. Don't be ugly inside and do your job. When you first started, we were transitioning to DVD. Now, internet porn is online. Do you think that kills your profits? Um. There's been a lot of changes in the internet uh, and the porn in relation to piracy. It's funny, ironic that Pirates 2, when it came out, was already pirated before it came out. 
So uh, now the production, what, what, what has changed on that is us, is that the production has changed a little bit. We're not doing the million dollar movies, $500,000 movies anymore. We're doing $20,000, $30,000 movies because in order to make your money back with the piracy and so like that, DVD sales used to take care of all the production costs. But now there's no DVD sales. And now internet broadcasts, someone gets it, it's on an overseas server. And so a lot of people see them porn for free. And eventually the movie pays for itself, but there's not as much movies. Obviously the companies are still making money because they're still making movies, but we're not making the profit margin we used to make. How it's affecting me? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I'm not making as much money as I was before, but I'm still making some good money. And it may have been like, a, it's like a bubble thing. Like uh, all bubbles happen, a real estate bubble and a porno bubble was happening. We were making ridiculous money, different profit margins, ridiculous profit margins. It's only a time before something happened to change all that. What's really good about us is because porn is on the forefront of technology. The 3D cameras that first came out, we were using it first before anybody. And so the technology will progress to a point where it becomes so cost prohibitive to steal the stuff rather than just buy it. So when that time comes, we'll be back up to speed. But until then, we're still at full speed. Now I'm gonna talk to the ladies for a minute, but Chick wants to get in contact with you. Where can she find you? Evanstone.com. Evanstone.com. Evanstone.com.